In today's video, I get to travel back to Gotham City again as I watch the Batman from 2022 for the first time. My name is Kale. Thank you so much for joining me for this movie today. I have to thank Sean. He is the reason why I am watching this movie today because he was the winner of my member of the month draw over on Patreon for the month of March, and he didn't need any time to think, no hesitation. He knew that this movie was the movie for me. So thank you again, Sean. And for those of you wondering what member of the month is, First Friday of every month, I take all eligible patrons and I throw them into a random draw. And the winner gets to pick either a specific movie for me to watch and react to, or if they are having trouble picking a specific movie, they can pick a list of movies and that goes in a poll on Patreon for the whole community to vote on. Now, these reactions and reviews always get uploaded as full length watch alongs over on Patreon and then whether or not they get edited down for the channel is at my discretion. There are definitely movies that will probably never come on the channel and will just stay as Patreon exclusives. There are other movies like Clue where they'll get edited and uploaded like maybe a few months or potentially over a year after I watch them. And then there's movies like The Batman where they're coming out on the channel decently quickly after I watch them. February's movie was Ex Machina and April's movie was The Count of Monte Cristo. And I know what May's movie is, I just haven't watched it yet. So once I have, then I will share what movie that is. Now, I am recording this intro a few weeks after I watched and reacted to The Batman, so that is why I'm speaking in past tense right now, but what did I know about The Batman before watching it? Well, I knew that it was a three hour long movie, which felt very daunting, and I'll admit that it took me quite a bit of time to actually like sit down and watch this movie just because of the length. And I knew that this movie was dark visually, not like material wise, but just like a very dark movie. So I was prepared for that. And then I also knew that Robert Pattinson was Bruce Wayne slash Batman. And I had remembered seeing on Twitter just here and there a lot of people's opinions about his performance. So I kind of knew going into this that uh, he was a bit of like an emo Bruce Wayne or like emo Batman and just kind of like a very, I don't know, just a lot of people were saying that he brought a really unique performance to the character, one that's like never really been done before. So I knew that going into the movie and I was very excited to see for myself exactly what his performance was like. But otherwise, I didn't know anything about the story and I'm so glad for that because it was such a treat watching this movie and I'm very excited for you all to see the reaction. So I don't have anything else left to say in this intro. I am ready to just get into the reaction to show you all what I thought of this movie. So with that, thank you to everyone subbed here on the channel. Thank you to everyone over on Patreon for the financial support. And with that, let's press play. Oh, logo right away. Cool. I feel like we're looking out of Batman's mask. Right under my administration, the Gotham PD has dealt major blows to organized crime and drug trafficking. But will not let. Oh God, that's scary. <laughs> so this was the guy that we heard breathing. It wasn't Batman. I like how he yelled before striking. That part wasn't very stealth of him, although he didn't, this guy didn't have time to react even, so. October 31st, the city streets are crowded for the holiday. The way Gotham looks is pretty cool. It's like New York City Times Square meets, I don't know. <laughs> I must choose my targets carefully. I can't be everywhere, but they don't know where I am. No, don't hurt him. We have a signal now for when I'm needed. It's not just a call, it's a warning. Hello, James Gordon. They think I'm hiding in the shadows. But I am the shadows. We're like barely into this movie, but the way it's filmed so far, I'm really digging. And just the overall like coloring of this movie, just the visual tone is great. Please don't hurt him. He doesn't want to be you. I love how in a city this big, you just happen to be the right place, right time. We have a signal now for when I'm needed. The hell are you supposed to be? He's about to be fucking you up. I'm vengeance. All right, y'all gonna leave now? Thank you. Bye bye. Thanks for playing. I feel bad for that kid. Please don't hurt me. 
I think he knows you were the one about to be hurt, so. I don't know if it's just me, but the music that was playing during that scene felt very Star Wars-like to me. <laughs> He's with me, officer. Let him through. <laughs> I feel like this version of Batman is super broody, doesn't speak much. Just does. Oh my gosh, he duct taped his whole face? No more lies. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Thumb was severed. He was alive when it was cut off. He said there was a card. What does a liar do when he's dead? There's a cipher, too. Fun. What's going on here? I asked him to come, Pete. But this is way over the line. Oh. The riddle. He lies still. Makes sense. I want him out of here. First impression of Commissioner. Meh. Seems a little wound up too tight. Was there anyone else in the house when you arrived? Cool. Mayor Mitchell was a fighter for the city, and I will not rest until this killer was found. I wish I could say I'm making a difference, but I don't know. I haven't heard this song in a long time. Maybe it's beyond safe, but I have to try. <laughs> Very cool. I love that this version of Bruce is like a teenager almost, like not literally, but just the way he's dressed and just the way he acts. Very like introverted teenage vibes. I have to force myself to remember everything that happened. As Dr. Thomas Wayne and his wife Martha were slain during Wayne's own mayoral campaign, remains the biggest drug bust. Is that Andy Circus? Is, is Alfred? Oh my gosh, how cool. Our accounting friends at Wayne Enterprises are coming for breakfast. Here. It won't be long before you've nothing left. I don't care about that. You don't care about your family's legacy? He does not seem like he would care, actually. If I can't have an effect, I don't care what happens to me. That's all I'm afraid of. Alfred, you're not my father. I'm well aware. Andy as Alfred is so dope already. I am excited for more. Holy back muscles. Whew. Oh my god, look at this house! I love the vibe of it. It's so cool. The chairs. It's only a partial key. I'm looking for any double symbols to start, see where it leads. Good idea. What if this is the whole key? I don't want the symbols we don't have letters for. Could leave most of the cipher unsolved. I don't see how that's gonna... Oh, interesting. Drive can mean anything. You don't trust me? It's been two years now and I don't even know who you are, man. <laughs> oh. What are we looking for? USB port. Oh shit, there we are. Thumb drive. Gross. What's gonna be on here? It's encrypted. Try this. <laughs> oh no. So much for family values. Oh shit. No idea. But that's the penguin. Carmine Falcone's right hand. I know who he is. Shit, shit. Sent out the photos from my account. He lies still. About her? Maybe. That's the Iceberg Lounge. I'm interested in this investigation. No, I am. <laughs> I want to see the penguin. I don't know what you're talking about, pal. I think you do. Get out of here, freak. You hear me? These guys are identical, identical twins. Holy crap, this place is loud. Oh! <laughs> Yes, in fact. I'm Oz. I love the look of him. I wasn't rolling with him. I feel like maybe she knows who she is? Who's Mida? The mayor's. Look the man. Oh shit, it is. Look at that. <laughs> Don't let me hurt you. You better watch it. I'm just a proprietor, okay? Let me know if there's anything else I can do. I feel like he wasn't that big of a help. But I hope he's able to talk to her. I'm sure he will. Okay. No, no. St stay there. Wait for me, okay? Wait for me. I'm on my way home. This cap is following very closely to them. God damn it. Well, Bruce and the cab. I didn't realize Bruce was directly behind. Is this what I think it is? She kind of feels like Catwoman-like to me. 
yeah, definitely giving me those vibes. <laughs> but I won't lie. I actually kind of thought that the moment we saw her, like the moment she walked out into the room with Penguin and him, just her makeup alone, I was like, ooh, kind of feels like Catwoman. So, but then my brain was like, I don't want to make that assumption just based on eye makeup alone. So I didn't say anything, but now... Damn, she's hella prepared to break in. God, I'm such a fan of close-up detail shots, and this movie is filled with them. You're pretty good at that. And I love it. Consul, Monica. He hurt her. That's why he killed her. What? Man from the GCPD really didn't notice all of the safe break-in equipment. I'm here for my friend. Her days has got her so spooked, she won't even tell me. She did seem upset. Back at your place. She's like, bitch, you were watching me? Sick. Oh, this is fun. I love the two of them riding together. Um, well, this isn't good. Oh, no. My phone. Head of the Gotham City PD, Commissioner Pete Savage. He was found dead earlier tonight. What? This is the Riddler speaking. I killed your mayor because he was not who he pretended. But I am not done. <laughs> we'll soon be losing foes. That is an awful contraption. Commissioner Savage served a... Holy shit, I seen that guy too. 44 below. The club within the club? It's a mob hangout. Is that where you work? Selena. Well, there's our confirmation. Though I felt like it was pretty obvious already. You're gonna help me on this. For your friend. I'm not safe here. I can take care of myself. I believe her when she says that. There's a needle mark on his neck. Injected him with arsenic. Arsenic? What kind of demented son of a bitch does this to a person? The Riddler. That's who. That's another cipher. Why would Pete get involved with something like this? After everything we did to take down the Maronis, we busted the entire operation, then he caves to some little life dealer. Maybe he's not who you thought. Another card. Follow the maze until you find the rat. Bring him into the light, and you'll find where I'm at. The hell is that? I don't know. Come on. I kind of like the way the Riddler writes. I don't know about these things. I need to see you in there. I'm just looking for Annika. I really don't care what happens to me in there tonight, do you? Mm, I think he does a little bit. He's just really good at hiding it. Looks good. Feel like she was captivated there a little bit. Can you hear me? Yeah. That's one of the guys I got into it with the other night. Looks like I broke his nose. <laughs> that you did, I think. Don't look away. I need time to make IDs. That's the DA, Gil Colson. And he's coming over. You happy? Talk to him. Do you want to come over? Sure. Hopefully this goes well. It's half the DA's office. I got a lot on my shoulders with that psycho running around. It's wasted. I mean, this Riddler, going after the most powerful people in this city, he knows so much. What about that rat? Hey, you hey, Gil. Ask him about the rat. We had an informant. We had big time information on Salvador Moroni. That... This is the kind of pillow talk that got that Russian girl disappeared. What do you know about that? Stay on the DA. I told you I'm looking for my friend. You heard, is she okay? Just keep your voice down. Let's keep it festive down here, right? Sure thing, us. Oh. How you been? Yeah, I've been, I've been okay. Don't be a stranger. Interesting. I'm curious to see if I like Falcone in this movie, because I love Falcone and Gotham so much. You didn't tell me you had a relationship with him. I don't have a relationship with him, okay? Well, that's not what it looked like. Wait, what are you doing? I can't do no. this no, more. no. She's like, thanks, but no thanks. Oh no, 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 no. This is not good. Is he the next victim? I think so. I feel like I'm, my contacts aren't in right now. <laughs> That's pretty much how I see the world when I don't have contacts or glasses. What do you know about a confidential informant in the Moroni case? Yeah, sure, there was. Somehow Riddler knows who he is. Yeah, I have a source. I spoke to the DA tonight. I think the killer's targeting people close to that case. 
And you're all about to find out that Gil is dead. Or, well, not confirmed dead. They made a secret deal with this guy. Who knows how many people it touches. Could tear the whole city apart. You retire. Is Bruce Wayne making an actual appearance? It's a public memorial for Mary Mitchell. Serial killers like to follow reactions to their crimes. That's a good thought. Could work on this latest cipher. The one from the rat maze. I'm fairly certain this translates to you are El Rata Elada. Rat with wings. Stool pigeon. Where are your cufflinks? I can find them. Aww. You can't go out like that. Alfred, I don't want your cufflinks. <sighs> Too bad. <laughs> He's given them to you anyway. <laughs> Your father gave them to me. I love this Bruce and Alfred dynamic with Robert and uh, Andy. It's a totally different vibe to every other Batman thing that I've seen so far. He definitely does not like being in the spotlight. Sir? That looks like her. Hey, 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 oh, hey, hey. Just like... oh, someone else. Some event, huh? Brought out the one guy in the city more reclusive than me. Thought you'd never leave the shoreline. Oz, you know Bruce Wayne? Is that right? His father saved my life. Operated right on the dining room table. Kid here, he saw the whole thing. You don't think that meant something he did then? It means he took the Hippocratic Oath. That's good. Excuse me. Memorial for our beloved mayor, Don Mitchell Jr. Our program will begin shortly. Who's that? Why haven't you called me back? I'm Bella Royale. I'm running for mayor. Will you walk with me? Oh, you're kind of forced to now. Gil Coulson is missing. Oh, he's not again. Hey, Mr. Wayne. Well, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> oh, shit. Is that Gil's car with Gil in it? And that was probably the Riddler up at the top, right? The vehicle kind of looks like another cipher? Or it just says, it looks like it just says DOA all over it. Get out, show up! Hi, Gil. There's a bomb around his back! Oh, it's a bomb, sick. Let's clear this place out now! Could have started doing that a while ago, I feel, but better late than never. I love the choice for them to blur that scene where Riddler was strapping it to his neck so that we couldn't make out what it was. Gordon! Your guy's gonna get himself killed in there. Well, to be fair, Gil's little message here is addressed to him, so, you know. He told me if I didn't do exactly what he said, he killed me. I'm so sorry. Looks like a combination lock. Can we just cut it off? Not if you want to keep your head. <phone rings> Who are you? I'm just an instrument. Here to unmask the truth. Of Let's do it together, okay? How am I part of this? You'll see. This Riddler is so interesting. Can we Fuck. get somebody out here? This thing that's gonna minute. kill me! Shut up! You deserve to be dead after what you did! You hear me? Okay. <sighs> I've always loved little puzzle. Three riddles in two minutes. You give me the answers, and I'll give you the code for the lock. Do you understand? I don't like this. You want me to? <laughs> Riddle number one. The answer's justice. Justice? Yes! Justice! Bribes. He's asking how much it costs for you to turn your back. How much? Ten grand. Okay, okay. Don't lose your head, Mr. Colson. Tell us which vermin you're paid to protect. Which vermin? The informant you all protect from the Salvatore Moroni case. I'm a dead man either way. You're talking to a dead man, okay? Stress. It's the whole system. Stress. <laughs> Damn it. Rest in peace, Gil. I love how many people were surrounding him. You would rather die than talk. What was he afraid of? You? He's son of a bitch. Is he wrong, though? Are you playing games? Whoa. Oh my god, that was close. Holy shit. Just give me a minute, I'll get him to cooperate. You gotta get you out of here. Go to the roof. Hey, what's going on? Kinsey, narcotics. Kinsey, moonlights for the penguin. All right, moonlights, just a cop. 
I love the music during this. <laughs> oh my god, he's gonna have the whole building after him. <gasps> go! Just go, 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 go! Whoa. Cool. Ooh, that was a great shot. <gasps> Not a great place to deploy that. Well, at least he's decently far away from them now, so. Could have at least pulled that punch, man. <laughs> I did. I don't trust any of them. Do you? I don't. I only trust you. You think Penguin Serrat? His club caters to the mob. Maybe Penguin got himself into a jam, and working a deal was his only way out. Serrat or Lara, but Penguin's got wings too. It's a drug lab. Looks like they got Maroni's operation up and running again. Why well, they never shut it down at all. Hello, Selena. This just got complicated. <laughs> what do you mean? A little bit. <sighs> Dangerous crowd you're stealing from. Those assholes are coming back. Oh, shit. Oh my god. Oh gosh. Hey, Vincent! You think you can come after my money, huh? <laughs> Look at this. I love how long this buildup is and nobody's moving out of the way. Vincent, get the money! <laughs> oh my god. Oh gosh. Jesus. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> Amazing. Oh my gosh, it's really not that often we actually see the POV from inside the car as it's tumbling. I loved that. That was so cool. Oh man, I think we're finally halfway through the movie. I'm just so impressed with how this is filmed. Like, I just, I can't help but hear the music. It just feels Star Wars-y to me. <laughs> Riddle! How should I know? You don't just work for a guy like that, Colin. You work for them, too. I didn't kill no girl! We know she worked for you at the 44 Below. She got too close, right? You were the rat, so you killed her. But somehow, Riddler found out, too. You must know about him. Who is he? Boy, you guys are a hell of a duet here. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, actually. <laughs> Holy God, what are you He's showing me? His head. Come on! Open your eyes! Ooh. Well, you will rata a lot of. It's like the voice Spanish I have heard. What? La rata. Am I the only one here knows the difference between Al and La? No habla espanol, fellas? Give me a <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite penguin moment. It's a rat with wings. You know what that sounds like to me? A friggin' bat! Huh? You ever take of that? La El rata. Maybe it was a mistake. Maybe he isn't smart. Right. Is that him? What does that mean? Is he or isn't he? Do you know what I am? Any idea? He's an orphan. 
They're talking about the old orphanage. One that burned down. It was part of the Wayne estate. You guys realize I'm still here, right? <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> You'll figure it out, Penguin. Same song from the start of the movie. But also the creation of the Gotham Renewal Fund. Look where the body you get money to people. Renewal is a lie. Sins of the Father. Renewal is about eating seeds. Jesus, his next victim is Bruce Wayne. Well, just stay Batman forever. <laughs> that won't work. <laughs> Alfred, please answer. Alfred! No, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't. Alfred, you're smarter than this, my guy. Oh my god. Gory! I need to speak to Alfred. Oh, Listen to me! Something terrible is gonna happen! I'm afraid it already has, sir. No! About an hour ago. The package was intended for you. We found this too. Oh, he's not dead. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I love investigative mode, Bruce Wayne. My favorite. I need to talk to you. Where can we go? Look at that view, though. This is like his place. Piece of shit caught Kenzie. Her body was in his car. Your friend got involved with the wrong people. She didn't know any better. Maybe you should have explained it to her. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Yikes. Yikes. How close did you have to get to Penguin, to Falcone? You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Falcone owes me that money. I want to know why a guy like Falcone would owe you anything. Because he's my father! He scared the shit out of me. And I could never understand why he looked at me the way he did. When I was seven, my mother was murdered. Never found out who. Anyway, social services came to take me away, and he didn't say a thing. He owes me that money. I'm sorry. You assume the worst in people. Maybe we're not so different after all. Who are you under there? Are you just hideously scarred? Yeah. <laughs> all anyone cares about in this place are these white privileged assholes. Come on, vengeance. Just don't make any moves without me, understand? It's all more dangerous than you know. I told you, baby. I can take care of myself. I love her. She's so great. And also, I love that a lot of people call him Vengeance. I feel like that's a cool alt, alt name. Keller's message has over 13 million views. I love seeing a Batman thing in like modern day. Well, ish. The social media aspect is cool. But when the reporter refused, Wayne turned to longtime secret associate Carmine Falcone and had him murdered. The I hope you're listening, Bruce Wayne. This is your legacy, too. Riddler's, like, genuinely scary in this movie. I really hope by the end we can see him with the mask off, because I'm curious who the actor is. Bruce Wayne, I want to see Carmine Falcone. What do you want to know here, kid? Did you kill him? For my father? Your father was in trouble. This reporter had some dirt, personal stuff about your mother. Your father tried to pay the guy off. He came to me. Your father wanted me to handle it. So I did. You'd be surprised. But even a good man like him is capable of in the right situation. And then after what happened with that reporter, Maroney was worried that your father would be in my pocket. Salvatore Maroney got my father killed. Do I know it for a fact? It sure looked that way to me. I'm so happy Alfred's not dead. <laughs> you lied to me. Why didn't you tell me all this? Your father was a good man. He made a mistake. A mistake? Get a man killed. Why? But he didn't have anyone killed. So Falcone lied? He's protecting your mother. And in a moment of weakness, he turned to Falcone. Your father should have known that Falcone would do anything to finally have something on him that he could use. He told Falcone he was going to the police. And that night, your father 
that your mother was killed. It was Falcon. I wish I knew for sure. You were only a boy, Bruce. But I didn't know how to help. I could teach you how to fight, but I wasn't equipped to take care of you. You needed a father. And all you had was me. I'm sorry. The Alfred and Bruce relationship, no matter how I'm watching it, is just one of my favorite relationships, like, ever. Out of everything fictional I've ever watched. It's up there. I realize now there's something I haven't got my last. This fear of losing somebody I care about. I love them. Hey, I saw the signal. That's not you? I thought it was you. <laughs> well... Oh, okay. Hey, Selena. I found him. I see that. Or she called me. Gordon, help me out, man. Here, listen. What are you doing, Kenzie? It's scared. What did Mitchell tell you? Not nothing. He just said, tell me the deal with you. You gave some information and some drops thing. That's how he became mayor. Jesus, he's driving. Well, that was horrible to listen to. A falcon has wings, too. Falcone is the rat. Falcone works for you guys. We work for him. Everybody does. Oh. Through Renewal. Renewal is everything. Falcone, the top dog. We orchestrated a play to take Maroney down big. He brought out his drops operation. Make the careers of everybody that went after him and install them all as his puppets. Fuck Holmes from there. He's been the mayor for the last 20 years. Let's go kill that son of a bitch. This creep too, let's finish this. No! no. <laughs> Listen to me. Don't throw your life away. What's Gordon thinking? Oh. I got nine of them. <laughs> That was quick thinking. Holy. And if she kills Falco, we may never find the Riddler. I have to stop her. When you mean we? Mm. I gotta do this my way. Yeah. Cool. I, I don't know where she is. I was hoping that maybe you could help me find her because she's she's been gone so long. I'm beginning to. Yeah. No, that's okay. I have a tissue. Mr. Falco. Be right back. The timing on that, though. Should have pulled out that tissue sooner. He just said, tell me the deal with you. Oh. Hey, Dad. What? I'm Maria Kyle's kid. You remember her? Yeah. Just put down the gun, honey. This is for my mother. she not hit him <laughs> the scene is crazy the pitch black just with the the guns for light Ooh. although that scene would not be great for people who are epileptic find you oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god ah you don't think this hurts me mm, it probably doesn't actually Oh my god, no, 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 no. Bruce, where are you? You made me do this. There he is. He has to pay! I think he will. You paid enough. Whatever I've done, it's all going with me. Don't you know you boys in blue work for me? You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, the city of Gotham will provide one to you. <laughs> if you cannot afford one. <laughs> I know he probably has to say that, but I just find that funny. You always just a gimp in an empty suit. I'll straight paint your ass! Is the Riddler in the area and he shot? He was the one who killed him? Has to be. Find where I'm at. 
Aha, uh -huh. knew it. Well, he's dead, that's what you wanted. Just wasn't you that pulled the trigger. This whole time. Lieutenant. Yeah. We're gonna witness here says she saw someone come down the fire escape right after the shot. She said he went into the corner. Diner. Hopefully this is right. And hopefully Riddler just didn't make the person say it. God, I don't know what to think. I just sorted a slice of pumpkin pie. <laughs> You. <laughs> you tell me. Interesting. I don't know that I recognize that actor. The ledges. He's got thousands. Edward Nashton works at KTMJ. He's a forensic accountant. Accountant. Renewal. The empty promise they sold to me as a child in that orphanage. My whole life has been preparing me for this. When I could finally strike back and expose their lies. I don't think that rat likes you, man. This one's not a rat. What? Oh. Did not realize that it was a bad. Some kind of pry tool? Is it a chisel? It's a murder weapon. Killed yep. Mitchell with it. Yep. His final post was last night. If only I knew then what I know now. We'll get in. I know the real you. And look, that's a picture of Bruce Wayne right there. I think I'm his last target. Riddler's asking for you at Arkham. What do you want from me? If only you knew how long I've been waiting for this day. I've been invisible my whole life. They'll remember me now. All they could talk about was poor Bruce Wayne living in some tower. Over the park isn't being an orphan. Do you know what being an orphan is? You wake up screaming with rats, chewing your fingers. Ew. Your mask is amazing. I wish you could have seen me in mine. All everyone wants to do is unmask you, but they're missing the point. I'm looking at the real you right now. Why did you write me? We've been doing this together. You're part of this. We didn't do anything together. We did. I asked you to bring him in the light, and you did. We're such a good team. We're not a team. You showed me all it takes is fear and a little focused violence. You inspired me. You're out of your goddamn mind. You think you'll be remembered? Begging for attention. You're gonna die. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, nobody. We could watch the whole thing together. Watch what? Everything! It was all there. In his room, or in his apartment? You mean you didn't figure it out? Uh-oh. I guess I gave you too much credit. What have you done? What's black and blue and dead all over? Oh, no. You. What are you doing? This actor for Riddler is so good. Like the perfect level of creepy. Yeah, there's something here. Boy, this guy's a real nut job, huh? Killing Mitchell with a friggin' carpet tool. Is it really something with the tool specifically? Oh, I get it. Oh boy, here we go. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Just stop. <sighs> is this gonna answer everything? Thanks to everyone for the tips on detonators. Detonators? I just want to say, this will be my last post for a little while. You've seen Gotham's true face now. Together, we've unmasked it. It's corruption, it's perversion. I've parked seven vans. They will go. <laughs> the flooding will happen so fast, Evacuation will not be an option. Oh shit. Okay. As the venue becomes the city's shelter of last resort. And that's where all of you come in. 
No. No. I was wondering what those comments were about. I was reading them as the video was playing. You'll be there waiting. So maybe the Riddler was more than one person. Because look at all these guys. They all look the same. I'll go calm down the crowd so we can get everyone in. It's not safe for you here. We need to get you out, Miss Real. I'm not going anywhere. What's the problem with this city? Everyone's afraid to stand up and do the right thing, but I'm not. Excuse me. Ma'am. <sighs> no clue if she is going to die or not. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> well perfect oh my god oh gosh Okay. Selena, where are you? Is this the one that's actually been doing it all? And the guy in Arkham is just one of the many, I don't know. Selena? Thanks. <laughs> oh gosh. It's okay. It's done. Oh God, no. I think I missed where he got shot. <laughs> what is this? What is this? What is this? Oh, oh, oh. Take it easy. It's okay. I'm going to call that instant punching juice. <laughs> really strong medication <laughs> of some sort. Oh my god. <sighs> oh my god, how pretty. God, I can't handle how beautiful this film is. The city is underwater. Wow. Oh, <gasps> dog. Oh, no. <laughs> God, I hate when dogs are by themselves in natural disasters. I can already see. Things will get worse before they get better. We must rebuild people's faith. Agreed. I'm starting to see now. I have had an effect here, but not the one I intended. Vengeance won't change the past. I have to become more. Our scars can destroy us, even after the physical wounds have healed. But if we survive them, they can transform us. They can give us the power and the strength to fight. Isn't that just terrible? Him breathing on your brain like that? Who's this? Gotham loves a comeback story. Who are you? That's the question. Hmm. Riddle me this. <laughs> You're leaving. Don't you ever just say hello? Not really. He, it's not really a. It's not really a hello kind of guy. Where will you go? I don't know. You asking me to stay? You know this place is never gonna change. With Carmine gone, it's only gonna get worse for you. I know. The city can't change. It won't. I have to try. It's gonna kill you eventually. You know that. Why don't you come with me? Knock off some CEO hedge fund types. It'll be a fun. I love these two. The bat and the cat. The bat and the cat, indeed. It's got a nice ring. It does. Mm. Who am I kidding? You're already spoken for. One last kiss, though. Please. You should go. Maybe not. Selena. 
Take care of yourself. And there we are. Wait, Colin Farrell? <gasps> Colin Farrell was Penguin? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Never in my life would I have ever... I The makeup job on Penguin was so good. But I didn't think it was that much makeup. Do you know what I mean? Oh my god. That is awesome. Okay. If you enjoyed that reaction, the easiest and fastest way to let me know is by clicking that like button down below. All right, The Batman 2022. I'm so happy I watched this. Thank you, Sean, on Patreon for making me watch it. I loved this movie. Really, really enjoyed it. Before I dive into what I loved about it, I'm just going to talk about my one and only criticism, which is the length of the movie. Now, this is something that I think will not be a criticism over time with multiple rewatches, similar to the way that I feel about other movies that have a similar runtime that I really love. Interstellar, Titanic, The Sound of Music. They all have comparable runtimes to The Batman, but I love them and they don't feel long and I can rewatch them at any point in my life. But The Batman, when I watched it, the reaction that you just saw during that, I literally felt like it felt like a long movie. By the time the credits rolled, I was like, yeah, I literally just spent three hours watching that. Like it felt it felt long and I truly felt like you could cut out a good amount of the film and still like have the feeling and the story and everything could come across. Now, that being said, I'm recording this after I finished editing the reaction that you just watched. So I do feel a little bit differently about it already. Granted, I've been spending days and days and days and days and days with this file for reasons I won't get into. I've spent a lot more time on this edit in particular than any edit for the channel so far. So now that I've spent so much time with the Batman, I do feel a little bit better about the pacing and I feel a little bit better about the runtime, even though it took me forever and a day to edit it. Yeah, basically I can understand what they were doing with it. I can understand their pacing choice and making the film as long as it was, like I get it. But I will say that the first time reaction to the length of it is like, oof, that's, that's, yeah, that's how I felt. All right, now for what I enjoyed about this movie. Honestly, take out the length of it, everything. I enjoyed everything about this movie. Let's talk about the story. I love the choice to make the Riddler like our primary villain in this movie. And the way that they made him portrayed, I guess, is like, so different from any other thing that I've seen the Riddler in. The guy that they chose, the way that they made him look, like he was genuinely terrifying in that introductory scene of him where I was like, oh my gosh, when he first appeared through the darkness and only lit by the TV. Was it the TV or was it something from outside? I don't remember. Anyway, scary, like very creepy, very terrifying. Despite that, the Riddler would sometimes say things that felt pretty like relatable and you could kind of feel empathy a little bit almost for the Riddler. So very awesome character. I also love that there was like a group of Riddlers. So in hindsight, I do think that the guy that's currently in Arkham was the main guy, but I do like that he kind of was developing like a cult following almost of people that would do and act out things that he requested. Very, very cool. It's just a super nice change of pace from always focusing on Joker. I feel like so many things focus on Joker, so it was nice to have the Riddler be kind of front and center. And yeah, it was just a great choice. Though I do love the little nod to Joker at the end of the movie. The cinematography in this movie was gorgeous. I love how this movie looked. The overall vibe, the coloring, I do love how dark they made this movie. It was just awesome. There were so many shots that were beautiful and that I remember vividly and just a gorgeous film to watch. The music was fun, although like I said, I think twice during this reaction, the main theme that they used for Batman in this movie, I could not unhear the Imperial March from Star Wars. It sounds so similar to it, at least to me. So that was a little bit actually like distracting instead of being able to like fully enjoy it. Don't worry, in editing, I vibed with it. It's a good theme. I also really like the addition of Something in the Way by Nirvana. It must be so difficult to decide on a specific song to use in a movie more than once as a background track for like multiple different shots. I can't imagine the stress that goes into that, but I think that picking that song in particular, it, it just fits. It, it felt like it fit the moment it started playing. And I just really like that song. The casting and performances in this were really, really great. Honestly, everyone nailed it. I still am shook about Colin Farrell as Penguin. I can't, like, I literally do not recognize him. Even in editing, there was not one scene of Penguins where I was like, oh yeah, that's Colin Farrell. Like, 
I could not tell <laughs> in any way. <laughs> so big props to Colin for his portrayal of Penguin. That was awesome. Completely just shocked me. Zoe Kravitz as Selena was great. I really, really enjoyed her performance. But we got to talk about Robert because I remember when this movie was first announced and the casting of Robert Pattinson as Batman and Bruce Wayne came out. I remember the doubt. I remember the skepticism of people being like, wow, he's going to play the Batman, like the Batman, Bruce Wayne. Like, no, he can't. And I feel so bad for actors that get typecast like that because of their previous roles. Like, yes, Robert Pattinson, big guy in the Twilight films. He was in the fourth Harry Potter movie. I think that a lot of people just cast him as someone that can only be in like teenage stories and teenage films. And that is just not the case. And I am so pleased with his performance in this movie to show the world that yes, I'm a good actor. Yes, I can portray these kinds of characters really, really well. He did such a great job in this movie and I can't get enough of it. Like I, that's the main reason that I will rewatch this movie multiple times is because of him as Bruce and Batman. Now, Robert's portrayal of Batman and Bruce Wayne was very unique compared to anything that I've ever seen before. And I think that was the intention with this was to kind of give him a different vibe. Now, that being said, his version of Batman wasn't like all that different compared to some Batmans that we've seen. Mostly I'm comparing to Christian Bale's Batman. I do like the voice that Robert used for Batman, although I think it wasn't all that different from his Bruce Wayne voice. Slightly different enough, but you could tell it was the same person. But his portrayal of Bruce Wayne, that is very different from anything that I've seen. The base qualities and traits of the character are still there, but the physical appearance, the way he carries himself as Bruce, is just so unique, and I really, really, really enjoyed it. I'm saying that now post-editing KL, when I first stopped watching this movie, when the reaction first ended, I d felt kind of indifferent about his portrayal of Bruce Wayne. I was kind of like, eh, I'm not sure how I feel about it. Like he did a great job, but I just, I don't know if I vibe with it, but I can confirm that yes, uh, after a second watch, I, I do vibe with it very much. <laughs> Now that I've seen this movie, it just has me really excited for the future of Robert's career. I would love to see him in more films like this, not necessarily superhero based, but just roles like this. I would love to see more. So yeah, overall thoughts, great movie. Currently, I would rate it like a four out of five stars or four and a half out of five stars. Probably with multiple rewatches down the future, I would rate it a five out of five. This was a fantastic movie. I am now so excited to go to Letterboxd to see what some other people have to say. First up is a three and a half star review by Jonathan that says, we need to stop pretending that Batman isn't at least a little silly. If a man dressed like that came up to me and I asked him who he was and he said, I am vengeance, I'd probably laugh at that. It's a silly thing to say. This one made me giggle. We've got a four and a half star review by Ash that says, Marvel Studios, you are officially fucking dead to me. <laughs> Next up, another four and a half star review by 24 Frames of Nick that says, after sleeping on this, I can confirm this movie fucking bangs. It's one of those movies where the more you think about it, the better it is. And I firmly agree with that. And finally, I have to include this extra review by Olivia, a five star review that says, no fucking way, that's Colin Farrell. Yep, 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 yep. All right, folks, it's that time of the video where I now turn it to you and ask you to leave your comments down below. Let me know what you enjoyed about this reaction, but also let me know what you like about this movie. If you are someone who is a fan, let me know all the things. And if you are someone that doesn't care for this movie, I would also like to know why. The emoji that I'll ask you to put in your comment today, you can leave one or two, either the bat emoji or there is a question mark emoji. I think it's red. It's red for me at least. So you can leave that in your comment as well. But yeah, I'm excited to read them. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it so, so much. Thank you to everyone subscribed to the channel and everyone on Patreon. Thank you so much for your support. It means the world. And if you want to join them to get access to exclusive reactions, full length watch alongs, polls, early access, newsletters, all the things, you know where the links are. And if you're not yet subbed to the channel, please click here to do so. And if you want to continue on watching something of mine, please click over here. And with that, we will see you in the next reaction video. So take care and have a great day. Thank you.